Standing shoe on. Shoe off, tell me better if you divide 120 big 2, what is the answer? Shoe off, are you there? Unmute yourself. Yes. yes, now unmute yourself and tell me if you divide 120 by 2, what is the answer? Tell me, Shuok, better. 2 into how much is 12? 60. Very good, 60. Now divide 60 by 2. What is the answer? Tell me, Shuok, divide 60 by 2. Divide 6 by 2. What is the answer? Three. Three. Very good. So the zero will automatically come down. So the answer is 30. Excellent. Sure. Now tell me whether if you divide 30 and 2, what is the answer? Fifteen. Fifteen. Very good. Now divide fifteen by five. What is the answer? Three. Three. Excellent. Now see what I have done. We have multiplied this three, two and this one, three. Why? Because here it has been said a number that is less than hundred is a common multiple of 6 and 8 and a factor of 120. Why have we left out 5? Because if we multiply 5 and 24, it will be, tell me, Shwag, if we multiply 5 and 24, what will be the answer? 5 into 4 is how much? 5 for the? 20. 20. 20. Excellent. Very good. Now 2 is remaining in my hand. 5 into 2 is how much better? 10. 10 plus 2 is how much? 12. Very good. So 120, 120 is more than 100 or less than 100? Sure. More. More than 100. So we are not taking 5 for the, that reason. Okay. And another thing, see, see, we are taking 6 here. That is 3 into 2 is 6. Then we are, are also taking 8 here. That is 2 into 2 into 2 is how much? But 2 into 2 is how much? Sure. Tell me, sure, 2 into 2 is? 4. 4 into 2 is? 8. 8 into 3 is? 20, 24. Very good. 24. So we have the answer as 24. Now it has been asked that 24 is a common multiple of 6 and 8. So 6 into how much is 24? Better? 4. 6 for the 24. Four. Excellent. And 8 into how much is 24? Three. Three. 3. So what next? The difference between each digit is that 24 is less than 100 or more than 100? Better? Less than 100. Less than 100. Exactly. So it satisfies all the factors. Now what we have to do? We have to find the difference between each digit. What are the digits? 4 and 2. So what you will do? Better to find out this difference. Very good. So we will subtract. Very good. Excellent, Shok. So, have you got the sum better? Is it clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am? Yes? We have to rejoin. 
again? No, you don't have to rejoin. You rejoin Sir Plus. See, Sir's link has been shared. It's classroom one with us. Go and join Sir Plus. Leave my class. Okay, in number 14, what we did, I am a number between 50 and 80. If we divide, if you divide me by four, five, or six, I will leave a remainder of three. So the number between 50 and 80 is 65. 65 can be exactly divided by 5 because there is 5 in the end. Now what, now what we have to do? 65 is exactly divided by 5. So 65 we will not divide. Because there is 5 in the end. Any number with 5 or 0 in the end can be exactly divided by 5. The next one is 63. 63, if we divide it by 4, the quotient will be 12 and the remainder will be 3. Sorry, if we divide it by 5, the quotient will be 12 and the remainder will be 3. So... Then we have to see it with 4, whether it can be divided by 4 or not. If we divide it by 4, then the question will be 4, 1, the 4, 5, 6. So 15. The question will be 15 and the remainder will be 3. Again, if we divide it by 6, then also the question will be 10 and the remainder will be 3. So what number am I? 63 is the number. Then what we have in number 15, a number that is less than 100 is a common multiple of 6 and 8. This I have already explained. So let's go to the previous term. I missed the recording, so I'm doing it again. Okay, how many 1 by 8 are there in 3 whole 1 by 2? This I already told you all that the LCM will come out to be 8. Now what we have to do, we just have to, 7 by 2 and we have 1 by 8. So 1 by 8 is equal to 1 into 1 equal to 1. Then we have divided by 8. into 1. This will again give us 8 divided by 8. Then we have 7 by 2 equal to 2 into 4 is equal to 8. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. So we will also multiply the numerator with the same number as in the denominator. So 7 into 4 will be equal to 28. So the number will be 28 by 8. 8 and 28. Then we have, so we have 1 by 8 and 28 by 8. Now what we will do, we have to find out how many 1 by 8 are there in 3 whole 1 by 2. 3 whole 1 by 2 represents 7 by 2. We will simply divide it. For example, if we have to find out how many 5 are there in 10, we divide 10 by 5. So similarly, we will divide it here. Now, what is the rule of dividing a fraction? We just make the fraction upside down. That is, the numerator goes in the place of denominator and vice versa. So, 8 will come in the place of numerator and 1 will come in the place of zero. So, this if we cancel 8 and 8, 8 divided by 8 is 1. So, 28 into 1 is equal to 28. 
that's all. That's all for today, guys. Bye, everyone.